Hi, I'm Andy Jimenez, and today I'm here to talk to you about the new power over Ethernet standard, the IEEE 802.3BT. In 2009, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers released the second generation PoE standard, also known as the IEEE 802.3AT or PoE+, specifying 30 watts of power at the power sourcing equipment and 25 and a half watts at the power device. But because the IoT market is expanding at such a rapid rate, even higher power is needed to support additional devices connected to the Ethernet network. That's why the IEEE recently introduced the IEEE 802.3BT standard, which expands the maximum power available and pushes the power limit at the power sourcing equipment to 99 watts and power devices to approximately 71 watts. It does this by utilizing all four pairs of the structured wiring, whereas previous versions of PoE only utilize two pairs. Additionally, the 802.3BT standard supports multiple PoE classes and is backward compatible with prior PoE standards. This new standard will probably be the maximum level defined, as anything higher than 100 watts could exceed the power levels defined for limited power sources within many building codes and industry standards. As the 802.3BT standard is adopted, we'll begin seeing it implemented in applications that require more power, such as smart buildings, smart factories, and smart cities. You can learn more about this new standard by reading our tech brief on Annexter.com and talking to an Annexter technology expert.